So for no reason at all, and kind of accidentally, I'd say, I'm kind of on a Spielberg binge right now. I mean, I watched the first Back to the Future, I watched the whole trilogy, and obviously those aren't Spielberg movies, but they're produced by him, so it like, it kind of factors in a little bit, and then I reacted to Minority Report, obviously, and then I rewatched Schindler's List, and now, today, I rewatched Jaws, and I, just like yesterday, where I talked kind of about Schindler's List, I want to just tell you my story with Jaws, because it's kind of interesting. Interesting. I don't know, there's just something about it that, again, I want to talk about the movie without making a review of the movie now. In the future, I can definitely see myself doing that. There are a few people I can actually think of that I would easily do a review of the movie with, but today I just want to kind of laid back video and tell you my story with it because I find it quite interesting. Jaws has always been a super interesting film for me. Obviously, it invented the term blockbuster and it was like the first big blockbuster all the way back in 1975. That's how long ago it was, what's that, 46 years ago. That's a while ago, and still to this day, I think the film holds up. I first heard about the movie, or at least saw the cover of it, I could say, back, I'm not exactly sure of the year, but it was back in the probably early 2010s when my family went to a resort called Delawana Resort in Muskoka, Ontario. I think that's where it is. I'm pretty sure <laughs> they went bankrupt and closed down. Although that might have been a different one. But since it was on a lake, I remember, I think it was the main cabin. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but I'll put pictures up because there's a picture I found of exactly that. I remember inside seeing either the DVDs or VHSs of, I think it, it was either the first one or at least like the whole franchise and just saying I've only seen the first one. I've seen it three times. I've only seen the first one. I'm going to avoid this, the sequels for as long as possible. But I remember seeing it. I mean, the thing's on a lake, like the resort is on a lake. So I think that's why, but I just saw like the cover of it and I was like, Ooh, that's, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. And I was obviously pretty young. So, and I didn't know what it is. And then throughout my entire life, I know the bottom, 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 because everyone knows the score. You, you play those two notes. Everyone's like, Oh yeah, Jaws. I think I was like interested in the movie because as a younger kid, you know, sharks are cool. Scary. Yes, but cool. I mean, I'm not scared of the water. You know, a ton of people got really scared and didn't go in the water because of this movie. I never felt that and maybe that's because I didn't watch it until August 12th of 2018 and thank you Instagram archive stories for that 10,000 steps <laughs> It's weird that it's happening in two videos now. When I look at my old stories on Instagram, because if you follow me, um, I always post, you know, when I watch a movie, and weirdly, I don't know why I've done this twice now, I said, favorite Spielberg movie, like, put that up as a question on my Instagram story for the two times I watch it, and I kind of want to do that today just to kind of keep it going. I watched the movie, though, because my parents were away, I'm not exactly sure where, and I, I mean, I was at home with my brothers, and I don't know who's taking care of me, whatever, but they had texted me because they were getting, like, us all something from wherever they were going they're like oh do you want a Jaws shirt and my first response was yeah yeah because I mean the poster's cool and I knew they would look cool I think they sent me a picture of it and I was like oh yeah that's cool and I th still have the shirt I <laughs> you've probably seen it in a ton of videos it it's got so worn out and it, like the neck went down to like there because I wore it so much because it's one of my favorite shirts that I have I don't think I have it anymore because it's so at least not in my closet because it's so worn out and I was like yeah of course I do <laughs> and then I was like, oh wait, I haven't seen Jaws. So that night I watched it. I remember appreciating the movie more so than I actually enjoyed it. And that's also how I felt about Citizen Kane, which is totally different. I do prefer Jaws, just, just saying. But that's also another film that I can think of the first time I watched it where I was like, yeah, that was really good, but I didn't like love it. And I don't even know what it was. 2018 was like that year. I've talked about it many times and I almost feel like I want to make a whole video on it. That was like the main year where I really got into like classic movies. Like there's a ton I can name. Um, I mean, actually a bunch of these back here, like Taxi Driver, I remember watching then. Alien, Braveheart, like there were so many that I watched back then, Goodfellas, so many like classic movies that are now some of my favorites that I watched back in 2018. And I was watching those as I was getting more into film. And then on January 19th of 2019, I picked up the Blu-ray VHS of Jaws. Now this is, I mean, it's awesome. I, I still own it, obviously, and I have the 4K because I think it's so cool. It is a, it's the Blu-ray, like if you, See, obviously this is not what a VHS looks like, but it's just a really cool set from Best Buy. And I got it, and then later that night I rewatched the movie, and then I found more enjoyment in the movie on that rewatch, but I didn't fully understand the all-timer title that it got. And then this next quick story, I'm just gonna give a little spoiler warning because I just think it's really interesting. If you haven't seen Jaws, 
do yourself a favor and watch this movie. It's fantastic. And I'll talk more kind of very quickly about the movie at the end, but it, it really is fantastic. Don't listen to what my stupid younger brain was thinking, even though that was only two and three years ago, but whatever. It's phenomenal. I remember back in, this would have been later in 2019. My guess is like April or something, April, May, June, one of those months in English, a teacher I love. I won't say his name for privacy reasons, a teacher I love. And if you were in my class, you know what I'm talking about. I remember, I, I don't know why I've always remembered this, but it was the way that he talked about the ending. He was talking about, I don't know how it came up in conversation, but the way he like explains movies is really funny. Like we watched Last of the Mohicans, which is a Michael Mann film starring Daniel Day-Lewis, which is really good actually in class. And he, he was telling us what was gonna happen like five minutes before it happened and the way he explained it. But what I always remember, this is where the spoilers come into play. I remember where he was explaining basically how they defeated the shark at the end. And I, I just, and this is my best impression of him. And he's great, by the way. I remember him being like, oh yeah, you got Chief Brody up there on the top of the thing. I don't remember what he called it. And then he's like, smiling, you son of a <laughs> I don't know why, but just him saying that has always stuck in my mind. He's very funny. He tells lots of jokes, has a very specific sense of humor. And the way he explained it, and I remember like he was looking at me because he knew I loved movies and I was just smiling and laughing. And that's something that will always stick with me now, especially because it's I mean, out on the internet. That's something that will always stick with me. But today I finally rewatched Jaws and I can say that I fully love it. If you watch my 100 favorite movies list back in, I think July of last year, you, you would have seen the movie was on that list because over time after that second rewatch, it just grew on me more and more. And I found myself like, this never happens, like wanting to watch scenes from it and kind of learn more about it and randomly watch reviews of it, which I will totally do sometimes, but not like seeking out those reviews for a movie I didn't watch in a few months. And the movie just weirdly grew on me without me even watching it. And Spielberg is obviously one of my favorite directors, always has been, always will be. I mean, his movies are phenomenal. But rewatching it today and just over two years of not seeing it, Jaws is an absolute masterpiece. You know that if you've watched the movie, but seeing Chief Brody, Matt Hooper, and Quinn set out to hunt a shark that is terrorizing this beach is still to this day so intriguing. I just love this movie so much, and every time I rewatch it, I find something special about it. And just saying, the 4K transfer is phenomenal. My favorite 4Ks, I might make a video on, but for older movies that are transferred into 4K, my favorite is The Shining. I'm just saying for like picture quality and stuff. I still think The Shining, Jaws is right behind it. I mean, it looks amazing. There's a whole thing about how they re, I think it's on this, I think I'm pretty sure it's on this one too. You can also find it on YouTube. It's like Jaws the Restoration. I think that's what it's called. And it just kind of explains how they you know, recolored in, use the original uh, negative and use the original like 30, uh, not 35 millimeter, I think, yeah, 30, something like that. One of, one of the original film prints, as well as some of the digital stuff, and they actually improved some of the audio, and I'm not a big audio guy at all. I, I can tell you when it sounds bad, if stuff is unclear, but here, there was a scene, it's one of the beach scenes where a helicopter flies over, and it sounded amazing. I don't know why that scene stood out to me, and the dialogue's really clear, and when the shark sinks at the end, this is what was told in the restoration one, it has like this faint dinosaur sound like almost as it's sinking and you can really hear it here this 4k is amazing i mean the set is gorgeous you have this amazing lenticular and it's so cool and then the back i showed this in my christmas haul because i got this for christmas and then you know just standard <laughs> really quickly show you this with discard and then this cool booklet that has that tells you about um it just you know it tells you about the actors and kind of has blueprints, you know, of the, uh, of the uh, Jesus, of the shark and storyboards and all that, original posters. It's awesome. I think it's a gorgeous set and I highly recommend it if you love the movie and you probably do if you're watching this. And if you don't, I mean, just watch it again and you'll, you'll love it more. That's how I felt. And I have to say this, my favorite character was Chief Brody for a while, but after rewatching today, I'm like, Hell yeah, it's Matt Hooper. I know that question is always asked, but I think mine is Matt Hooper. I wanna find the Funko Pops for them because they look awesome. And yeah, that is my story with Jaws. I think now I can finally say it's truly a masterpiece. Thank you all for watching. Tell me what you think of Jaws, of course, or what fun stories you have with it. Tell me those in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time over and out.